Graham Thompson, West Ham fan team outside the London Stadium. It was West Ham 2, Newcastle 3. I'm here with Ginger Carroll. Kurt. I might weren't... take your hat because that's how West Ham played, <laughs> like soggy in the middle. Weren't great today, was it, mate? No, it was, the midfield is non-existent. <laughs> non-existent. Like, everything come from the middle. Well, apart from Richie in the first 20 minutes, he was running their line. Mm. Running the right wing for them. It's, it shouldn't be happening. Yeah, I mean, we had storming start, early goal. From Manatovic. Yeah, but then we've got a complacent and let him back in it straight away. Silly, silly free kick to give away, wasn't it? Well, two in, in the space of two, three, four minutes. Yeah. I mean, we were creating our own problems today at times, weren't we? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, when when Carroll come on, uh, well, before he came on, we was hitting the bar line and crossing them in. Mm. When Carroll come on, it was hitting them diagonal. Yeah. Carry on doing what you're... All right, granted, it, it was causing them problems at the back and we, and they was on the back foot for a lot of the game when Carroll was on. But hit the bar line again, play your football and the goals will come. I mean, <clears throat> no curse, I think, tactically got it spot on today. No, I don't know. I disagree with you there, mate. I, I think we let them into the game. They, they were awful. The only thing they had on us was pace. Which they used, so they got it spot on. Yeah, but I mean, like, if you let if you let a team like that play a game, mm. th then you can make anyone look good. Yeah, I mean, our, our problem was in in the middle. We weren't winning any second balls. No, no. Like, uh, you know, the defence were winning the headers. Obi and Kiati can't play together. No. I've said it. Uh, we missed Noble today. Mm. We, I, mean, we, I think Lanzini was a big miss today. He's been shit all season, though, isn't he? Really, let's be fair. But he's he's one player who can. He's got a bit of creativity, a bit of spark about him, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I, I agree with you there. But um, an out of Victor Cresswell for me should have took the penalty. Yeah. You, you scored that penalty, it's a different game. Yeah. Well, you missed that penalty and they go up and score one straight after. I mean, I thought, thought Nanovic was our man of the match today. He ran his yeah. socks off, didn't he? Yeah, definitely. And out of its man of the match. He has been for the last, what, three, three games? Yeah. Uh, I thought, I thought Zab had a good game at right, on the right as well. Yeah, they targeted him a bit, though. Yeah. They, they, second half when we were pressing, yeah. they, you know, they put the, uh, the winger, he was quick. Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, but um, I say, uh, uh, Masu Aikwe had a good game as well, when he was the only one really prepared to have a go. He, he was the only one that wanted to drive forward yeah. at the defence. And then when, it was, when he couldn't go nowhere, he had to go sideways or backwards. Mm. And there was no one willing to pick up the ball and, and have any real urgency about the game. Yeah. It was just it was just shit, it was just shocking. For a team like Newcastle, no disrespect to them, because they are a big club, but with the form they're in, we should have been going at them. This is what West Ham do, we're just a charity club. But again, when, when we have to go and break a team down, we seem to struggle. Uh, uh, you know, against Stoke, we soaked it up on the break, but when, when we've actually got to be the ones to go and break down the team, I think we seem to struggle a bit. Yeah, but Stoke wasn't nothing, though. Let, let's be fair. Stoke had, had r no real threat about them, whereas Newcastle, they had a bit of pace, like I've already said, so they could exploit that a little bit. And it, it showed today, like, that they, they, they just annihilated us at the back. We wasn't as tight as we was against Chelsea and Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, that game's gone now. We move on to Bournemouth on Boxing Day. Confident? I don't know. It depends what sort of way we play and what team we'll put out. I, I mean, mate, the only good thing is we'll have Lanzini back. Will Noble be available? I don't know. But we, I think we missed it. at least Noble today. Yeah. I mean, if he's Bournemouth, they're not, they're not a bad side. A good, decent football inside, especially at home. We need to start playing a striker at least up top mm. because there's, there's, not, there's only so much you can do with, with no strikers on the pitch. I know it worked before, yeah. but... but it's, that's a stopgap. It's not going to work every game, is exactly, it? Yeah, that's because we were playing too defensive and too negative against the likes of Chelsea and Arsenal. Now we're playing the lower, lower league teams. Mm. We need to go at them. We need to have a striker on the pitch. It's, it's the teams around you you've got to beat. And it's, it's all very well. It sort of undoes all the, the, not undoes the hard work that we put in against Chelsea and Arsenal, but... It does, you know, there's no point going to beat the top four teams or, or teams in the top top four, top six. Yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, though, our destiny's still in our own hands, is what I'm, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not it's not a complete disaster. But well, we're back in it now, aren't we? Yeah, but I mean, it's still in our hands. Yeah. We're, we're not relying on other teams, and so yeah. we're, we're still. Is it always been in our hands? That's what I always think. <laughs> it's always been in our hands. We're to blame for, for the start of the shit season. And we're to blame if, if results don't go our way either. Because as long as we do our job, we shouldn't be relying on other teams. Mm. We should be doing our job first. Yeah. But anyway, mate, we won't let it spoil Christmas. You look, oh, like, mate, you, you look like you've been on a Christmas sherry already. Oh, mate, I've been on the Jaeger. I've been drinking all the way up here straight. And it's Thames Ironworks slash West Ham Fan TV Christmas do. So I ain't letting nothing spoil it. All right, I'm mate, well, we'll, uh, we'll enjoy the rest of the evening then. So thanks oh, for coming yeah, on, mate. Thanks.